hey guys welcome back to my channel as you can see in the background i just left planet fitness i'm super hot and sweaty i probably haven't oh i haven't been to the gym in almost a week i believe last not wednesday last tuesday i went so this is the first time and i started juicing thursday and i finally ended juicing i didn't break it like i should have um i had some chicken and i had some shrimp and it was actually pretty good for me uh, my body is still letting me juice. However, I'm just not going to anymore. Um, right now, I didn't have anything this morning. I didn't even have water. Um, and I'm feeling pretty good, but wouldn't recommend. Um, I definitely should have some. Well, I had a Red Bull, which is, I, don't, I shouldn't even say that. Um, but I didn't have any water. When I go home, I'm probably still not going to eat. I'm going to have water first. And I'm also going to have some juice. And then I'll probably push my meal more towards an hour or two from now, just because I need to get some fluids in. And then I'm probably going to have some sort of salad, even being post VSG back in the day. Oh my God, I used to have these huge salads. But even though um, I just came off juicing, uh, my portions, <clears throat> I don't know. I, I don't know how my stomach is working right now, but I'm still going to keep it really, really low. I have a bunch of juice in my house still. So I am going to go to the market and, um, pick up some stuff. I'm probably just going to pick up like a, a few things just to, I don't like, I don't want to pick up too much stuff and then want to snack on it. If you know what I mean? I definitely am that person. When I go to the store, I feel like I have to have a little bit of everything and I hate that. So I'm just going to pick up what I need for the salad. I already have some chicken that's seasoned in the freezer. I bought it from Aldi about two or three, two or three, whenever I went to the supermarket last, I picked it up and I didn't start cooking it yet. It's like in those big bags and it's frozen and it's already portioned out like um, I'm just going to cook one and probably not even eat the whole thing. I might, I might not, but yeah, I'm just gonna have a regular salad with some vegetables and chicken and some vinaigrette. I'm not gonna put cheese on it. I have been big on putting cheese on my salad, but I'm not gonna do it this time just because I'm getting off a fast. So I wanna just stick to uh, the chicken and the vegetables. And then I think I'm gonna go back to juicing for the rest of the day, but I do wanna have one meal just because. I weighed in today, I weighed in yesterday at 224.2, and today I weighed in at 224.8, so it's basically the same. Um, my goal was to get to 229 this January 1st, and I surpassed that, and now that I'm at 224, I just want to, of course, lose weight, but honestly, if I can maintain 224 for this month, I'm 100% fine with that. Um, as you guys know, and I say this all the time, I'm really focusing on consistency, discipline, and just making it like a lifestyle. So I'm not really in a rush to really lose the weight. I'm really in the motion to really break in healthy living, healthy habits, um, allowing myself to have cheat meals and just in moderation with everything. I'm human. I'm going to drink. I'm going to have a donut. I'm going to have pie. I'm going to, you know, juice sometimes, maybe do a detox. I want to do a little bit of everything without really like limiting myself, but learning how to bounce back and have everything in proportion. That's really what it is for me on my journey. So, um, yeah, the juicing went fine. I'm not on a routine right now. My personal life is pretty crazy. So, yeah, I'm really dealing with that. I'm trying to get into the gym when I can. But really for me, I'll do a home workout, you know, in, in 10 to 20 minutes, but it's the food, like just making sure like it's easy, you know, your personal life can be crazy, but it's easy to slip off. And even though my personal life is all over the place right now, I'm making sure that my mental is still intact because you can easily lose yourself. And like me being an emotional eater, just start eating for no reason, you know, that's not going to fix anything. And in the downfall, a month or two from now, I'm going to, you know, I'm still going to have maybe this issue and also have another issue because I just let myself go. So that's what I'm dealing with right now. Life happens. Keep going. Keep pushing. Um, trying to give you guys a little bit of motivation as well as listening to my own words. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of retail therapy. As you guys know, I went to Old Navy recently 
and Bath and Body Works. And now I'm going back to Bath and Body Works because they're having another sale on their single wick candles. They are $4.99. So I'm pro I'll probably post this video early, but if it's still up, make sure you guys cop some. Um, I'm going to go see what they have, but I probably won't put it in this video like I did last time. Um, but yeah, probably buy about five or six candles, $5. You can't beat it. They're usually like, they were six fifty when I went last time. So I'm happy they're down a bit from them because honestly, they're not worth the fourteen fifty that they actually are. I'm sorry, but I, I just don't think so. So I'm about to go in there, see what they have. And yeah, I'm just taking it one day at a time, y'all. One day at a time trying to stay focused, stay motivated, and just keep pushing, you know what I mean? Just telling myself it's going to be okay, take it one day at a time, all right? Y'all have a great day. Make sure you guys stay on top of your grind. Keep pushing. January 4th, I believe, January 4th, January 5th, you got it, you can do it. Peace out, guys. Bye.